Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wallaby Rally podcast. As you can see I'm here joined with my Wallaby Rally family and today I'm joined by my co-host Mr. Uh it's it's Mr. Mashaba on the side. Uh yeah guys, I'll be your pod- your podcast co-host for this episode, innit? Yeah. And then to my far left we've got far left far left um, it's for Siri Mr Moloko and yeah that's my name um hi guys i'm Kiro Magic and yeah let's get to it the ladies ladies hi i'm Ofense Khwedi okay, yeah. hi i'm thank you so much all right guys so today we have a pretty interesting topic for you guys very controversial and many different views and You know there was some bickering and arguing going on so I think today's going to be a very exciting episode so stay tuned guys so basically today's topic it will be about um cheating and what we all think about as a whole cheating of course in terms of relationships that is so should cheating be a thing is it okay to cheat is it different is it when is it is it is it different when male uh, males cheat as opposed to women cheating so Basically that's what we're going to be talking about so yeah guys stay tuned so <clears throat> there anyone who'd like to get started like who has a specific <laughs> statement okay okay miss khwedi so i'd like to sort of by saying that i feel like our generation has normalized cheating mm-hmm. and alongside a lot of things in relationships which shouldn't be normalized um and with cheating honestly guys don't beg a zeal Don't go back. He cheats once. He he'll knew what he was again. doing, oh, he and he'll repeat word. it. Okay, we're talking from a girl's point of view. Right. Okay, or she, right. exactly. If you like into girls, so and they'll yeah. repeat it, and you look like a clown, and it's oh. this continuous cycle. Oh, so wait, let's. No, I, I just want y'all to. Your close up is that one, ne? Oh. So okay. you want to speak to the camera? Okay, speak to yeah. that one, James. If y'all want to speak to the camera, y'all speak to that one. Okay. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You say no. Right, you. Stay no, you guys can go. No, but she said she mentioned something about um, don't beg a girl. Then you don't love him if you're gonna leave him for cheating. cheating. So you're telling me that if your girlfriend were to cheat on you, you would still love her and be like, no, let me beg a girl. No, why, why is it different? Okay, let me explain. Again, <laughs> if a, a guy. A guy yeah can have oh, sex with a girl okay and have no feeling okay you guys it's different who's you guys girls oh, wait can i ask something can i ask something can i ask something what like what constitutes as cheating if like for example if a girl um this guy this one guy I watch on youtube and his girlfriend broke up with him because he was there was a video of him uh he was in the club and there was another girl grinding on him Does that so like what what where's where's the I think for now we can say if you sleep with someone else while you're in a relationship. Okay. Sleep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 I'm okay. Scared. Yeah. yeah. Basically talking about that. We can obviously have sex with a girl and not have any attached to feelings. Okay. You guys, it's different. Mm. You guys won't tap someone mm. because have no feelings over. Mm. That's where it creates a difference mm. because you guys won't tap someone that mean feeling so that means you are definitely attached to that person mm. you were never attached to your initial boyfriend right uh, that's mm. basically what i'm saying wait like okay so that's what you're saying like you're basically saying that when a guy cheats on his girlfriend it's no feelings it's involved no feeling and it's just for fun yeah. so how sure are you that there are girls out there that won't sleep with guys that they don't have feelings for cuz <laughs> in our generation right yeah. now Anything is possible. There are girls that got there just to type a guy just because I have the wait, wait. I have the power to, right? Because I can. Because as they say that P is power, right? And I know the power that I have with this P. So, I can go around using this power. Did you not start? Fuck up the sound. It's fine, it's fine. Fine. Just carry on. But uh I just want to say um like on like both points. I think what Lingo was trying to say or like what Lingo maybe didn't mention is that normally if bef- uh, with a guy a guy can go to a girl and like sp- like DM her today and be smashing tomorrow. Whereas with the girl chances are you guys would be speaking like for some time behind the, the person. Yeah, to yeah. before you get there. You know, you know there are loose guys, right? What do you mean by that? 
they're just available anytime. There are guys like that. It's not just girls that are loose. There are guys that are just available anytime. You I call agree. me, I pull through now. We, 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 we there are some girls like that. So listen, right, with, 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 with both points, right, like you said that there are, who says that there aren't any girls who can detach themselves from any sexual encounters, right? Okay. I'm saying that there are girls like that, whereas, but, but it's, it's like an exception, right? Whereas guys, there are some guys who can't detach themselves from sexual encounters. They also are the, ex uh, the exception, like they are the outliers. Mm -hmm. When you come to the, like the, the general mass of like the different genders and stuff, when you guys were to like do such an act, like you guys are most likely to be more emotionally attached or um, you guys are most likely to want to know the person and get to know them and open them up and know how they are on the inside and to know if you really are about that person. Whereas us, it's more of like a physical thing. Like I see you, I'm like, mm, I want to yam that. And you yam it and you're done. You know, there are girls like and, that too. And, and I'm saying they are outliers me, though. That's what I'm saying. They are outliers. But you outliers. said you guys, you were generalizing as if the whole female population's like that. I said majority. Another, another point. Let me, get, let me get to that quickly before you guys finish. Again. When you, let me give you an example to prove that you guys basically do agree with us. So a, a woman's body count the less it is, the better. The less it is, the better. Again, when you guys fight with each other, what do you guys call each other? Mm. Facts. Oh, you bitch. You, 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 you do whatever, you do whatever, you do whatever. Making it clear that you guys value or you value your... Your way of it. Your body count. You do care about your body count. Facts. Us, no. fam. What? Fam. Okay. No. okay. No. okay. No. Let's get no. bold. Let's get, let's get to the squid. Let okay, me. but then how did that come into cheating? We're not talking about body count. No, but Wait. You're bringing something totally different into this. Happening. Wait, I'm not done talking. <laughs> Thank you. You're bringing something totally different into this. And um, we're not talking about body counts. Body counts, that's like a totally different conversation. Okay. You're bringing two different topics into one thing. I know that re they're related, yeah. But we're not talking about that right now. So how is that relevant to what we're talking about right now? Okay, I want to raise another point. Um, with males cheating, right? I feel like that's been a thing from long ago. It wasn't... It no, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me finish. It's cheating. Um... <laughs> um <laughs> And like back in the days, you know, polygamy was more common, right? Right. So now it's like, I feel like honestly, when women cheat, they're more, they're mostly doing it to prove a point in like not, cause when, when guys cheat, it's like, yo, like I need, normally it's like, yo, I need something different or. So you're telling me that when, no, no, can, 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 Okay. Can I finish now? Can, can I finish now? Sorry, That's the wrong mentality. Can, can, you're can, worried now. Can I finish now? Whereas when girls, because normally I don't think like, of course, as you can hear, I'm saying I don't think that there's a lot of girls who are out there like, yo, nah, hey, my man's not good enough. I'm going to be, I'm going to go look. Normally when girls cheat, it's a thing of there's a guy who hits you up and it's a thing of if you guys speaking like, nah, nah, it's just friends. And then you warm up to him and then you start feeling whereas bad. with guys, it's a thing of. Like it's a initial it's, attraction. And that's it's just, yeah, with girls, it's not, it's not common where a girl will say, Yo, I, nah, my man, my, my man's not doing, my man's not doing enough. Let me go. You get what I'm saying? Okay, I can't deny that because it's been literally proven that from the beginning of time, men are more sexually conscious than women, that they think more about sex than women do. I understand that, but that does not mean that you should act on your impulses. You no, are not grown, you yeah, I understand yeah, that. You're a saying. grown man, but you should be able to control yourself. If you have someone that you love, this is what I believe. Mm -hmm. If you love someone, you would do everything in your power not to intentionally hurt them. By you, wait, by you cheating, you're making a conscious decision like, hey, this is another woman. I can see this is a different woman and I'm going to do this with a different woman, knowing that there is someone that I'm currently in an intimate relationship with, whether you're drunk, whether you're high, whether you're not high or drunk. You can see. So by you telling me that, oh no, it's normal for men. Why should it be normal for men? Okay, wait. I never said it was The why, the way, the what I'm getting. Wait, but what I'm getting from that is that I'm sorry. What I'm getting from that is that it should be. Oh my gosh, can I finish? What I'm getting from that is that oh, it's different when men and women cheat. It's not cheating. Is cheating. It shouldn't be normalized in any relationship. Another question. Another question. You say. If a guy cheats, he didn't love the girl, right? That's what she said. 
right? well if you intentionally don't if you intentionally cheating then you surely don't love her because they said you hurting me in on purpose. Intention. 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 So do you, do, you, do you think Jay Z loved Beyonce? I don't know. What? I can't. I, bro, I, can't, I don't know. No, I cannot <laughs> comment on something I know nothing about. That's their relationship. We don't know a lot about their relationship. Okay, but it relates to what you were saying. Can, can right? I ask a question? Did Jay Z not love Beyonce? I don't know. I don't know. We don't know much about a relationship. So it's not my place to be putting words in their mouth or whatever. Can, can I ask a question? What? But then again, I said that men think more sexually than women do. So he could be thinking about with his See, other brain. Let me get this, let me get, let me no. get this question done. Do you agree, again, this question again, do you agree that men can have sex with a woman and not be emotionally attached? Am I a man? Well, I agree. What do you think? I'm asking. I don't know. I cannot speak on experiences that I know nothing of. Okay, well, can you take our word for it? Word for I it. can't. <laughs> I wouldn't. But you're not a man. We are. But then, I, you, then again, you can't convince me. Oh no, I was just having sex with her. It meant nothing. It no, but I'm then why did you have sex with her? Because initial because she was available. <laughs> initial because you see her that she's pretty. So you're telling me every pretty woman you see you're gonna have sex with? Not every pretty woman. I'm not saying. Okay. Listen, listen. I'm not saying. I'm not saying you should be going around and go cheat and everything and stuff like that. It, ha- it could happen once in a while. You hear you out with your once boy. Once in a while, as if you're catching the flu. It happens ah, once in a while, really. Okay, fine. Let's get back to this again. Let's okay. get let's get back to history again. All the not to say high valued man or all the high value thing is something that's recent. Can you going back to history? But, but high no, value no, it, things it doesn't didn't exist. exist. Okay. Exist. okay. okay. What I mean what I mean by high value is that status. a man that has a high like status. Okay, a high status. Okay. All the high status men, okay. all of them okay. that we know of in terms of history, all had polygamous relationship. Mm. So do you would you consider that cheating? Polygamous willingly as the wife agreed or polygamous as in like they had girlfriends and the and the wives mm-hmm. couldn't do anything because back in the day women couldn't say anything every woman was aware that their man their man would cheat but mm-hmm. there's nothing they could do about it why? because of no, the why? limitation in rights no. and limit listen and limitation in everything that women had so i would be consciously aware that my man is cheating on me but there's nothing i can let do let me about correct it. you please okay oh. Well, don't say correct me, just say you're telling me your opinion. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. But let me say this. Let me say this. Um, the reason why I'm saying that you guys, women, had to share a, a, a high status man was because there weren't many high status men right then. Because the, 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 in life, in, in life in general for men, it's quite more, it's, it's a lot more difficult to get, to develop that status. So in terms of the ratio of men that are, that you guys are willing to have, you know, Sexual romantic life. relationship or sexual relationship with it's, it's very slim because there's very little men so that makes it high possibility for you guys to share the guy so i'm not saying okay, would he, say let me yeah okay. you so you said there's been very little high value men which is a lie because it's easier for a man to gain power than a woman can no 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 no. Wait, no 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 that's no 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 it's incorrect. easier for a man incorrect. to gain no how many okay let's compare really? ceos female not, ceos right now and male ceos oh, right no, now no, no, like no, no, that. no, that's totally that's can i horrible. carry on before yeah. you guys like just yeah. not relating okay. no, 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 let, 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 let her finish let her finish now it's natural for a human being let me just say that to attach to a, a person who has a higher status because you want to be related to a person that's like that because you know when you relate to a person like that it's easier to get connections it's easier to open more doors yeah. now again i'm not going to lie and say oh females don't like men that aren't high value i'm not going to say that women do like men that are well known for example groupies let's take that normal example mm. so you can't compare a relationship like that with the relationship that you, you as a regular guy and a regular girl have together you can't compare those two things. It's not the same. Yeah, come on. Can I, um, I just want to say, um, when you say, I think high yeah, I value, it. like in terms of values like nowadays, I think it's different for male and uh, females because as a guy, I think, yeah, you can say in the in the corporate world and in the workplace, yeah, I guess you can say, you can argue that, yeah, Guys it's easier for a guy. To gain but power. if you're yeah. talking about, because relationships aren't based on like just what are like, where do you work? What are you CEO? It's based on everything. And as a guy, you can look good, but you also got to be rich. Look nice good, car, look fit. Good, values, like good morals. Have values. money, have nice good. cars. I think that's what makes you a high value man. Whereas with females, like... You just have to be paying. Take care of yourself. A lot of pretty women are seen as high value. 
Yes, you, yes, and, you, and you can yes, see yeah. and you can see that for an example on Instagram. And it all you look at wait, you look at males on Instagram, the ones that have high followings, not just good looking. How many good looking guys are out there that don't have high following? A lot of people. Huh? Good looking, yeah. Asiko oh, winning. Yeah. <laughs> guys, chances are the guys good looking, uh, good job, you know, like girls. How many pretty girls do you know? Girls are still in school or girls they're not working anything, but following up there, <laughs> high up there. Yeah, high up there. What so, I don't understand though is how we now including high value. Uh, cheating as well. uh, exactly no, I was just, I, it relates I, I, to, I, I, can i say yeah, yeah. i think it relates to the points where um luma was like jeez luma was like um back in the day in a polygamy mm. the reasons why there was polygamy is because there were so few high valued men that mm. all the high valued women were attracted to a high value man but since there were so few of them they saw that they needed to check that's mm. what she was trying to say so that's how the whole mm. conversation went to high value and stuff. Okay, then guys, another thing, now, please can we have like, Order. can you please come here? Like, can you please have an open mind? Because I feel like if all of us come here just to drill each other's opinions down, like other people's, because you gotta have an open mind. Like you can't anytime someone says something and then you're just like, no, no, no. Like we need to take time to actually digest what the other person is saying. Otherwise, we're not gonna get anywhere, most. Right. But no, you were Thank you, host. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you were saying something, something about polygamy. Nah, since since co -ho, I mean, host said what he said. I mean, let's just reset, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I have no idea what to say. Okay. So whilst the cameras are off, I had a con. Yeah, oh, yeah. I had a conversation with Dero, right? And oh, and um. It led to us, or rather, it led to me pointing out the fact that cheating, besides it just being cheating, guys, to me as the girl, it does a lot of damage than you'd actually realize. In terms of self confidence, esteem, you know. You ever think? Yes, mm -hmm. it could lead to depression in some cases. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really hectic it and it's deep. Deeper than you'd actually think it is. No, I, I really, I really understand, but um, we also need to differentiate between cheating and messing around. Because my definition of cheating is if I have a girlfriend and I have another girlfriend that I'm busy with that's continuously. That's cheating. That's cheating. Fucking around, messing around. It's just ah oh, man, I can go to. But, but it doesn't around. make it dry. You know can I say? You know. I think personally nah, mm -hmm. that um, cheating is wrong, right? Wrong, che yeah. che cheating is wrong. Nah. Mm -hmm. Be it whether you're a female or a guy, like, it's, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. Um, my point with, like, that it is different when it comes to a boy in comparison to what it is to a girl. I still believe that, right? Mm -hmm. And I think a, a way that I can say it is that you know, like, there's double standards in this world, right? Where it's more acceptable for a female to do something opposed to a male. I think this is just one of them. Um, I think that if a guy were to cheat, by cheat, I mean, like, let's say, fuck up, right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I deem cheating, like a fuck up. Like, like, I've been with you for, like, eight years, and out of those eight years, like, I just had that one incident with that hand, like, that one incident, you know what I'm saying? And it was an act out of character. I feel like for that, I don't think that I deserve to lose the hand, right? Because also, like, I'm a guy where initial attraction is basically another thing that maybe just made me tip over. It was just the initial attraction. I did it, probably regretted it. And most probably, I came up to you and be like, yo, listen, I messed up. This is what I did. And I'm sorry. Type of thing, right? Most the, most Wait, hold on. Let me just finish this. Right. That type of thing. Whereas opposed to a girl, like, I feel like if, she, if my hand were to cheat and stuff, like, it, it would take so much from her. I think mm -hmm. another reason why I say that is because I know how I got to her. I know how I made her fall and stuff. It was a process. And with that being said, 
that process enabled me to get some benefits that other guys don't get, like her friends and stuff, right? With that being said, like, that means that she had to go through another process with another guy, maybe not the same duration, but it happened. And with that being said, like, she ended up succumbing to that. So it was a process and she was aware what she was doing and it was prolonged as well. Like, and then where, whereas with me, it, it's most probably going to be something that it happened that day in that instant. It was an impulsive act. Like Dankiso said before, like it was an impulsive act and I regret it and stuff. So uh, I also want to say that, um, in relationships such as like ours where like, all we're doing now is just feeling each other and like, you know, like we're vibing with each other and stuff and all of that. Like if I was to cheat, I mean, like it's wrong. Like, you know, I don't expect you to stay because I mean, what the it's fuck wrong. am I doing? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like at, th- at this point, at my age, I'm not really bringing much value to her life. You know, let's say being a distraction and stuff. So with that, be- like I can't expect you to stay be- as if I bring something to you that you can hold on to for your life and stuff. Yeah. But when it comes to like marriages and like, um, like very serious relationships. Yeah. Like, and they mess up just one time. I think they should, you know, like be given grace. Like basically type of thing. Like he did do wrong. Like he messed up. Like it's cheating is wrong regardless. Like I said in the beginning, but you know, like in comparison to like, I would rather, uh, I would rather know that somebody did it for like one second than know that they had the whole hour to rethink and yeah. like, you know, exactly. think over it over and over before they actually convinced themselves to do it, you know? Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's what I think, I think on the whole. I think when you put it like that, to see mm. among, uh, among us, our age group or our generation, if someone were to cheat on me at the age that I am 18, I mean, yeah. me, yeah. me, yeah. me yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 but then with my parents, you know, it's, yeah, it's like it's a they have situation. You know, they've mm. been through it exactly. Like, like, and that's why, and that's why I don't think it's okay to say if your if your person cheats on you, it means they don't love you because mm. you can't tell me I'm I've been loyal to you for eight years or how long, and I cheat once. Now it means I don't love you. Then what what was I doing all those eight years? It means I wasn't loving you then also. And this is you also not justifying cheating too. But yeah, it, like I'm not justifying at all. Like personally, yeah, I don't. I yeah, I'm not justifying cheating at all. Yeah, like. I'm not I'm not justifying cheating. I don't think cheating personally I would never be able to. But I just don't think this thing of saying if he cheats on me it means he does cuz that's 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 not okay. That's not, true. That's not okay. Mm-hmm. And uh oh yeah, you she said um She said that uh it's also like a you said that it also affects you like emotionally and stuff and you feel incompetent like yo you're not enough. I also got to say like just because I'm in a relationship with you, or just because your guy cheated on you, fam, it, it, it's got nothing to do with you. Like, mm, honestly. Like, oh, like in no. so many cases, like, no, I've, I, I know, not. I know guys, like, I know friends and stuff who, who've done it, nah, where they are right or die for their hand. Or maybe they are right or die with their main. I'm gonna call it that, right? <laughs> and then, it's got nothing to do with the hand. Like, 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 he doesn't think about the hand. He doesn't think that, nah, ish. And my hand doesn't have this, this, this. Hey, that's why me, I'm going to do this one. It, like, it, yo, like, it's not like at all. I feel like it's easier said than done. Because you can say, oh, no, it has nothing to do with the hand. But I think as a female, you, you literally compare yourself to the girl. Because I know that if um, a guy was to cheat, I know by any means a girl will find who that girl is. Like, you should never undermine a girl's ability to find who the person is. She so she'll find the person <laughs> and be like, what do, what, what does she, she have, have that it? I don't? Yeah, yeah. Or like, what is it that I'm lacking in? Or like, why is it that he keeps on, or like, why is it that he went to her specifically and not to offend her? Why did he go to Mang Mang, you know? It's, it's easier said than done because you will, feel like you're lacking something you're gonna feel like you're less than mm. especially when it's something it like cheating it has a really big emotional damage, damage. it's really big so and mental too it's really bad i think a male or female it's really bad because you will feel like shit literally so i think it's easier said than done 
Because I know that I think as a guy as well, if you find out that your girl cheated on you, you're going to be like, bro, no, I gave her everything. What more does she want type of thing? thing. Is like, again, so, that's so what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to differentiate between male and female. We can be able to do things impulsively. Yeah. You guys are emotionally attached to it. You guys are emotionally like, attached to it. Like you guys... And, take long to long get to that yeah point. like i like i want to add to what no what Neil was saying was like very valid is that if i'm with you it's not like like if i'm telling you it's not a thing hurry you know we were like uh having sex the first time i met you chances are i had to work for that because that's how it is in the relationship it's not a thing of because like 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 thank you so mentioned earlier guys are more you know sexually active and all of that yeah. so the guy's the one who's like ready first before the girl and he has to work for that, get the girl comfortable enough to that point. And then, but like, if for example, that girl he was with was looking for a relationship. If a guy's cheating, he's cheating with the girl who's also looking for something like a... a fling. Yeah, exactly. But if a girl cheats, I so know... How, in a yeah, if a girl that's in a relationship... If a girl that's in a relationship cheats, it's like, I know how I had to work for that. And if you're giving it to him so that quick, mean? what does that mean? What does that he mean? Misses which exactly. I think I think I think that's another reason why our perspective is like this is because like like he's saying I think we're just being repetitive now but yeah. like he's saying like I, I know how much time I put in exactly right and then I know how how much time that person that recipient also put in and it's like you're willing to give it to him. Just like that. Just like that. And you told me that you value this thing so much. Exactly. So it's like, it's either you're lying to me or exactly. you're lying yeah. to yourself. So exactly. It's like Toto was saying that it has an emotional and mental damage on both sides, whether it's male mm. or female. It, does. it affects different you in a different level. way and affects me in a different way. Actually, yeah. Nah, okay. okay, guys, I might seem like, like I'm a fuck boy and shit. It's no, not like that. No. For me, for me, like... I know, bitches. I know. <laughs> See, this <laughs> Because I value myself as much as women should value themselves. I treat my penis as you guys treat your vagina. <laughs> Literally. So you got to earn my pig. You got to earn my dick. You got to earn my dick. <laughs> so, so like, mm. but I'm speaking from a, a male perspective that <laughs> Tina, when we do certain things like having sex with other women, it, it, can, it can really be out of impulsive thing. You guys, it takes a lot more. That's what makes it way more different yeah. yes cheating is incredibly long i'm not saying go around and just mess around all yeah. the time it's, it's right it's wrong but do acknowledge you girls should acknowledge that we're not intentionally trying to hurt you we're not saying Wuti, you guys like this yeah, these girls know. like that it's just mainly because also it can be like now no, it can be like oh dog even if i have a for example i have a girlfriend we go to a party and i was like oh, bro you won't even do it of course i'm gonna like try to prove this nigga wrong and it's not because because I'm I love that girl. At that point. I you know see? it's toxic. I know it's toxic. But that's how men, that's what men do. do. But so now I you're going to fall into that so easy because you want to prove a point. I know, I know. But, but like like you said, it's easier said than done. Then done. But listen, I am must say, yeah. well, what I've got from the girl's perspective mm -hmm. is that um, same way that we know that it's going to take so much from us to accept Jorge, she gave it to him quicker than what we actually worked for it. In turn, like, I think, point I think what we were also overlooking is the, like you guys said, like the, the damage that it does to you Jeez, emotionally, guys, like yeah. feeling lesser than, you know, like, I, I, I don't yeah. feel like it's nice. Like, I, I know how that, that, that might come across and stuff. And, you know, it's probably not that nice. And we probably overlooked, like, the magnitude at, at, at which it does that in it. So, so yeah, so I think, I think, I think I get it. I get why the we have two contrasting opinions and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I get what y'all are saying, you know. Like I really do. But I also no, there's no buts. There's no buts. Yeah. I get what you guys are saying. I also get where we are also coming from. I don't know. So yeah, I, I think I just I just always I think there's always gonna be two sides of the spectrum. There's always gonna be like and also I just feel like like nothing we've said is exactly wrong. Cause I don't want I don't, I don't want people to miss like Mis misinterpret what we're saying because we're not saying cheating is right, right for males it's right for both sides it's just for women I just think there's a lot more that goes into it, it goes than it did for men but yeah. that's from like I think we can also add on that that's from us speaking from a guy's perspective yeah, whereas when a girl would say it I would say that for males it's normalized 
It's normalized. You know, it's, like saying, it's normalized, even though it still, it still does still the wrong. same. It's yeah. wrong, yeah. but it's so, normalized. It's, so, yeah, it's so normalized I get it. And it shouldn't be normalized also. It really like shouldn't. For instance, if, if you're going to cheat, oh. society made it a thing with you. You considered a hoe, you know, or a bitch. If no one cheats, I'm going to give him credit for that. Oh my God, you pulled this off with so, 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 and so. He gets credit from his friends. It wasn't recording. Okay, then well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it is Chai. So, <coughs> it's Chai. Uh, like Thank you for tuning in once again. Catch us next time on the next episode of the Wally Borelli Show. Thank <laughs> Well, guys. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Um, that was today's episode of the Wally Borelli Podcast. Um, we'd like to say thank you again for tuning in. Uh, smash that like button and tune in next time because we have a... Uh, Actually... You can subscribe when you want. You can like. I'm kidding. 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 i yeah. You know, we, we work very hard and t- extremely exactly hard. like the content, like it, it's not as easy as it looks. So yeah, guys, uh, make sure you tune in next time because I can guarantee you next the the next topic after this is a very controversial one yeah. and there's a lot of com- uh, conflicting ideas and yeah, I think you guys are not ready. Eh? So you <laughs> <laughs> not like, nah. like like the woman, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a wrap, that's, that's a wrap, wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap, that's a wrap. <laughs>